Hello and welcome to Starfish Maths. Um, this is the first video we're making in a very different format. Um, I'm just going to go through an exam question today um, and just film off my screen. So actually working it out on the computer screen. I know it's a little bit more impersonal, but I think it's just it's a bit um, less work for me. I'm not going to edit it. Um, so hopefully I can get a few more of these videos out. Um, I'm actually using today a whiteboard platform. This isn't sponsored by them or anything. It's just the whiteboard that I use. It's called Zeitboard. It's the it's the tool that I use when I do online tuition. Um, it's actually a board that I can leave online. I'll put the link in the description below so you can actually log into this board and see all my working out there um, if you want to. You can't edit it. It's the view only, but you can go in and have a look. Um, and the question I'm going to do today is uh, just one that I like the look of really. It's <laughs> 10 marks and it's an integration. It's from the October 2020 paper from Edexcel and it's question 10. Uh, there it is on the screen. I'm going to move off from this now so you, we are going to lose the question but if you want to take a screenshot do um, and I'm going to just scroll the screen down and we can get started. So it is an integration by substitution and we are given the substitution to start with. So I'm going to change my pen colour. Very exciting. Um, let's get started with that. We're asked to make that into a certain form um, and we're given the substitution. So we are given that x is u squared plus 1 my writing's all right on here. <laughs> it's not that easy. Um, I tend to, not always, but sometimes, um, rearrange that to make you the subject. Just might come in handy, who knows. So that's x minus 1 square rooted. Um, and also differentiate that. That's just the obvious thing to do here. It's funny, isn't it? On a, in the effort to integrate, we find ourselves differentiating. But there we go. They are very good friends with each other. U squared plus one differentiated will just be two U, so that's nice and straightforward. And then we can make dx the subject. Very useful thing to do. So bringing the, do, the du up to the other side, so two U times du. That's all I'm gonna do there. Um, and change color again, why not? So um, we have a new integral now with all the x's replaced with u's. I'll leave the limits and come back to them. Let's not forget to change those. Um, so on the top here, we've still got three and we've got dx. dx has now become 2u du. I'm gonna put a dot. A dot just means multiply. So I'm not using an x because it looks like an x. So I'm just gonna put a little dot for multiply x minus 1 so I'm just gonna for that I'm gonna use x is u squared plus 1 so I'm gonna rewrite x as u squared plus 1 that's in the first bracket and then it's minus 1 because it's x minus 1 um, and then the second bracket we've got 3 plus 2 lots of root x minus 1 and look it's come in handy root x minus 1 is u so we can just replace that with u we are nearly there already oh we need to do the limits limits. So 10 and 5 are the old x limits. Um, it's probably easiest to use um, the rearranged version, so u equals root of x minus 1. Putting those uh, values of 10 and 5 as x into that, so we've got root of 10 minus 1 to give us the new u value. So root of 10 minus 1 is the root of 9, which is 3 and root of five minus one is the root of four, which is two. You can write that down. I've not bothered. I've done it in my head, but do write it down if you wanna show where you're working. Um, let's simplify that now. So we've got the limit from three to two, and we've got, we're multiplying on the top there. Uh, so it's six u du over, so plus one minus one will cancel each other out. So we've got u squared times three plus two u. And we can cancel. There's a u multiplied by everything on the top and bottom. So we can get rid of a u and a u. So it's six du over u times three plus two u. I think we've done it. That's question, That's part A done. And we can move on to part B. Part B is just 
ASCII GUS to solve that now to do the integration. So we just need to have a little think about how to integrate. We've got 6 over u times 3 plus 2 u straight away. I hope you're thinking of this too. My mind goes to logs because it's got a function of something on the bottom of a fraction. So I'm thinking logs. But because it's u times 3 plus 2u, that's a little hint because they've left it in a factorised version. That's a hint to separate those out into partial fractions. Because um, you can integrate like 1 over u and you can integrate 1 over 3 plus 2u because they will just become logs. But when they're multiplied together, it's much harder. So we do need to separate those out. So we need to make, I'm going to change the colour again. Hang on, bear with me. What colour shall we have? Let's have purple. Um, we need to make, I'm just going to pull this out, 6 over u times 3 plus 2u. I want to separate that into two different fractions using partial fractions. So it's going to be something, I'm just going to put an a, over u and something over 3 plus 2u. I'm going to put a b and we'll work out what a and b are. So using your best partial fractions knowledge, however you do it, you might have a different method to me, Let's have a go. I'm going to multiply everything by the two denominators. So u times 3 plus 2u. I'm going to multiply by all of that, leaving just 6 on the left-hand side. And um, this denominator will vanish, but it will gain the other term, so 3 plus 2u. And then this denominator will vanish as well, but it will gain the other term, u. So. That's what we get. And now I substitute in some values of u. I'm trying to force a and b to be zero. That's, to me, the easiest way. You can use any value you like of u, of course, and get um, simultaneous equations if you want to do that. But I try and make stuff zero to limit the amount of work I have to do. So the first thing to make zero um, is u, because then it will make b zero, won't it? So let's say u is zero. That's the obvious start. Um, so we'll have 6 here. Um, so 3 plus 2 times 0 will be 3. So a times 3. I'll write 3a. Um, and then b times 0 is just 0. So that's it. Oh, how easy is that? So a will be 2. I love a straightforward question like that. Um, the next one's not quite so straightforward, is it? I want to make 3 plus 2u. I want to make that 0. So to make that zero, it's going to be a fraction. U is going to have to be minus three over two. A bit more ugly. Six on the side. So all of that will be zero. So A, a will vanish. And then the um, we'll have B times minus three over two. So minus three over two B. And then you can write this out, do the working if you want. I'm going to try and do this bit in my head. So B will be six times two divided by minus three. Um, uh, minus 4, right? Minus 4. Okay. We can put those back into the expression and now try the integration. So, we are now going to have... I'm going to change my colour again. Uh, let's go back to that blue. That's my favourite colour. Um, we've got the integration now from 3 to 2 and I can put those values back into those fractions to, to separate them out. So we're going to have the integration of 2 over u minus 4 over 3 plus 2u. And then all of that with respect to u, so I'll put the du on the end. So now that's logs, let's integrate. If you integrate 1 over u, it's just ln of u. So that 2 can sit on the outside. ln of u. <coughs> We've got uh, 4 ln of 3 plus 2u. But um, there's a little bit of chain rule in here. We've got 3 plus 2u. We need to divide by the derivative. So the derivative of 3 plus 2u is 2. Let's divide by that. That is now integrated, so I'm going to put it into square brackets and write the limits on the other side, and then we can put those limits in. We are nearly there. So, 2 ln of 3 minus 4 divided by 2 is 2 ln of 
3 plus 2 times 3, so that's 3 plus 6, which is 9. That's the first limit of 3 put in, and then subtract the limit of 2. So 2 ln of 2 minus 2 ln of uh, 3 plus 2 times 2, so that's 4 plus 3, which is 7. There we go. Getting very close to the end. I am going to use log rules to tidy this up a bit. So those twos can move um, onto the end as powers. So uh, log of three squared minus log of nine squared. I'm gonna keep these in brackets actually just for now because there's just so many of them. Log of two squared and log of seven squared. Um, now I'm gonna be, uh, put these together um, because we're subtracting the logs, it, we can combine them into a fraction. So it'll be 3 squared divided by 9 squared. Um, 3 squared is 9 on the top. 9 squared is 81, but that on the bottom. And that's a fraction that we can cancel. 1 and 9. And then let's do the second one as well, the second bracket. So log of, let's put these together. Um, 2 squared is 4 on the top over sum of squared is 49. We can apply the same log rule again, can't we? Um, oh, good grief, what's just happened? I do not know. Let's undo that. Um, equals, uh, let's combine these into the same log. So, <laughs> uh, a bit messy. We've got 1 ninth divided by 4 over 49. Love some stacked fractions. <laughs> How do you cope with stacked fractions with a change of colour? Um, let's just go back to basics. One ninth divided by four over 49 is the same as one ninth times by 49 over four. So that is 49 over 36. There we go. Maybe you're someone who can cope with stat fractions in their head. Maybe not. Maybe you've never seen them before. Log of 49 over 36. And that is the answer. Nice. Well, I hope you got that too. Um, if not, have another go at that question yourself. All the best and happy studying.